2-2, Manchester United, Burnley. I'm here with Stephen Arson. What do you think of that? <laughs> you do it standing here with a mic. <laughs> <laughs> Not on the United Rue tonight, by the way. Just saying. Fair enough. Um, do you know what? you got to try and take the positives, haven't you? Um, and I thought a positive coming back from two goals down. I haven't seen any of the penalty shouts yet, so I can't really comment on any of the penalty shouts. Uh, I think they got to start at 11 wrong. And I've been saying it for a couple of weeks and I don't like it. But you've got to find the right tools for the right job. And I think the, the job that Solskjaer's trying to do, the system that he's trying to play, I don't think it suits one matter anymore. And I, I don't know how many more chances Pereira gets as well. Uh, I've just seen a stat there that he lost the ball 14 times. That's bad for a midfielder. You can, you can almost accept it when it's someone in the final third, like Alexis Sanchez loses the ball loads and I'll defend him. Like Messi loses the ball more than anybody else in world football, but he's trying to make things happen. In midfield, can't really do that. It's like, it's like a defender. Yeah. And one of the times he loses possession, we conceded that goal. Bit of, a, bit of a cock up between him and Phil Jones for that. He's another that you go, how long do we persist with Phil Jones? How long can people say to us that we don't need a centre half? We absolutely need a centre half. We clearly need a centre half. Lindelof has really stepped up to the plate. He's not perfect, but he's getting there and he's he's growing into it. And with every game, he looks like he's more and more confident and he's filling in the holes that he had in his game. But there's s around him and Phil Jones is shit. That second goal to me, that was the most simple bit of play that all United had to do. Any old United would have dealt with that. Any Fergie United, a standard cross there in the box, just turning back in. Yeah. At least one of their players that come on put in a cross, Ashley Young today. I thought it was offside. I thought it was offside because of the way our players reacted. Yeah. <laughs> I thought far. no one's bothered, so did it not go in? Was what, 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 what was crap out there? So, and talking of crosses, yeah. like like they they got that one cross and it's in the box. Ashley Young, ten crosses, yeah. didn't complete his first ten. Fifteen crosses he had. One from. I, I looked at that and I on the 70th minute it kept getting worse and worse, kept missing him. And why? I mean, I've seen that game under Moyes. I've seen that game under Louis, and I've seen that yeah. game under Jose. Now we've seen it under Oli, where we are just trying to put balls and balls into the box. I see what matter trying to cross it for Alexis Sanchez. Like, come on, mate, you're a midget. You know the game. You're not winning headers against Burnley. Like, this, you, we're, we're laughing, but it ain't funny, is it? Really, yeah. at the end of the day, that's basics. Why are we still trying to play this crossing game when we've got nobody? You take Lukaku off. Pogba's bollocks and can't get into the box. Marcus Rashford couldn't win an header on his own against toddlers. So why are we trying to put crosses into the box? That wasn't very smart, that, from United. And like I said, I've seen that game under every single one of these failed managers that we've had. It was, uh, do you know what? It was bad, but I hope it's a learning curve because we've shown a lot of fight and I think you have to take that out of there. We've not seen United go behind yet under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer because it's been so good. But today we saw us go behind and today we saw us fight back. It was a little bit too little too late. Uh, like I said, I haven't seen the penalty shouts. I don't know about them lot. But I've got to take that. And I hope that the, the, the coaching staff now can learn from what we've just seen. And they can say, right, we know our best midfielders, Ander Herrera, Matic and Paul Pogba. We missed Ander Herrera today as much as we missed Jesse Lingard. The movement, the industry, the, the guile of those two guys, that gamesmanship from Ander Herrera, he would have stopped some of the bullshit that we saw from them today. That's what we lacked. We lacked that little bit of fight. And maybe Lukaku is not the right tool for this team as well. I thought he was the only guy that we can go for in that box. Had one chance, got saved. Again, well, it was unbelievable save. Yeah, that, you can't yeah, take that away from yeah. me. It was unbelievable save. It's almost like when you make that save, you go, well, I don't fucking win it today, are yeah. it's, it's, It did have that feeling. I think when we were chasing down the game, like you said, I don't know how we pulled those two goals back because the way we were attacking, again, those crosses, it didn't feel like we were going to get anything out of those. One of the lads behind us goes, do you know we missed today, Tony Marshall? Because he doesn't cross for fuck all, does he? Yeah. And maybe that's what he needed. Maybe we needed a guy that was like, I got this and he'll just take it on his back. I thought That's Alexis what... is that guy though. Well, Alexis can do that, but even he was trying to jib wide and put crosses in. It didn't make a lot of sense. It, I, don't, I thought it was not very smart from United. You know what you're going to get about Burnley. The biggest mistake we, we had, apart from obviously the mistake that given a goal, was actually letting them have a goal. Because once they get a goal, that's all they came for. They started with a draw, they'll take a draw. You let them go a goal in front, it's party time now for them. And that is, they will have worked on being one nil up and trying to protect that. And when any team, when any Premier League team decides that they're not gonna play football and they're gonna put their entire starting 11 in their final third, they are going to be difficult to break down, no matter who you are. So it's one of them, innit? Hopefully Still confident learn. for top four? Yeah, big time. Yeah, people are dropping points all over the place. We are playing pretty well. Look, 
A lot of people misconstrued what I said about what effect a manager has. I say most people overrate the impact that a manager has on a team. A manager can only get a team playing to their potential. Solskjaer's had United playing, had, not today, but he's had United playing to our potential. He's not going to turn us into the vintage AC Milan team from 1990 overnight. It doesn't happen. You can't turn Ashley Young into a good player overnight. It's not going to happen. You can't make Phil Jones not make mistakes. It's not going to happen. But you can get United to the level where I think we're the third best team in the country. And I think we've been playing bar tonight like the third best team in the country. And that's because Oli's had us playing to our potential and Mourinho was our, had us playing under what our potential was. He is the right man for this team. On paper, Jose Mourinho was the best manager that we could have possibly got in the world. The most successful manager. It didn't work with him. Oli's the right man for United. He needs the job full time. Definitely agree. Cheers, mate. Nice one.